Yo, what's up, guys? It's Frankie Capture here, and welcome to episode three of Thirty Bomb Thursdays. And today's episode, I'm gonna talk about four different topics um, about the new lineup, um, the new maps that got released today on the 16th for the public, but the fifth week of the elite members, and the new kind of thing that everyone's doing in December. And the Premier League for final day. Um, the last one's obviously really off topic, but I don't know, I just want to kind of bring a variety to it. I don't really want to constantly talk about me and, and also about the game. I, it's nice to have a bit of a change. So, straight up first, um, I'm going to talk about my new lineup, which consists, it isn't really a new lineup if you've just got a new player, but it consists of. Um, Frankie, myself, obviously, um, Rocky, Mars, and we picked up um, XL Can. So, that's been a new team. We've been streaming for about a week now, and we look really, really strong. Probably the strongest teams that I've, we've been in. It looks really, really good. We, we actually went for a stage where we didn't lose a map for like two days. It was kind of weird. Like, we played against some good teams. And so yeah, things are looking really good, but obviously we've got a lot of, still we've got some stuff to work on. Still got to work on the cut-off points and the choke points for pulling the flag and also defending uh, our flag when uh, the enemy's got it. The enemy flag has been returned. So yeah, that's basically our new team and what's really been going on. And next thing we're going to start is the new maps that come out today on the 60th. Which is a ground and erosion. They are free for the public um, for people to download, obviously. But on the fourth, on the fifteenth, they come out um, for the the members of Cod Elite, which obviously I'm members of the whole map packs and stuff. But there was a lot of speculation and talk about a ground and erosion. Because apparently they they've got made for the competitive scene, and Deserto um, was going to look into bringing it into the rule set of map gens using the maps. But um, yeah, I played them today for like obviously the first time because I, I downloaded them yesterday, but I went straight to work. I didn't actually play it, so I played it today and nah, not competitive enough for me. There's which is erosion. I think that'd be quite good for Deserto search. I got I don't know because it's I can imagine it being really really fast paced and be quite good, but it just doesn't really feel like offensive to search. Like that. Um, people actually commented below um, before um, about my dog. Uh, my dog is actually called Momo. Like his his name is Momo, but we call him Mo for like short. But yeah, I didn't name him. My dad did, so yeah, my dog is actually called Momo. That's really off topic, but yeah. So new um, map, yeah, the new map's not really Deserto, like good enough for Deserto. There's erosion, which is okay for search, but I can't I can't see them bringing it into the rule set maps. Um, but yeah, that's. It's really, really bad in all the public thing where you play one versus one for ones and two v twos, TDM and kill confirmed only. I was, I was bummed that out a bit earlier in two v twos. And people just play it like GB, like you just get one kill and land a bush while why in it. It's, it's not fun to play at all. If they would have done like one v one CTFs and dirt and stuff, then I, I think I would actually play that just for. There's something to do, but I'm not going to be playing one v one to get the other one. That's just a bit boring. But yeah, um, this gameplay is actually from Marcel. Um, Marcel's in my team, my team with now. Um, he actually, he actually SNGs for our team, but with AI in this um, game as I wasn't on. And Rocky and Cam was playing with Fia Scott, so he obviously dropped to an SNG and. Um, Mars get to an AR to take over Mars. But, yeah, um, yeah, so next topic I'm going to talk about is the thing that everyone's really been doing a lot recently, 
at the start of games on Captured Flag. So, for instance, we had a like, like three times to us in three games basically. We start off like the map starts, then we go get into position, like set up, then we get like two, three down, possibly four. We pull a flag, get the flag back, so we go one nil up. We we'll relay it, get that flag back, and in the end, then we like the team will leave. Like a lot of people have just been leaving the screen recently. If they don't start with like if they don't win, but like, if we get a quick flag, they will leave straight away. And it's just kind of annoying because obviously, what's the point in leaving? You might as well just stay to the end and say that you need to work on your starts or whatever. I don't see the point because obviously, sometimes like it happens when you join a game and the connection's awful, so you, everyone just backs out or whatever. And when, but not not when you go one one two flags out and everyone just backs out. It's just really annoying. But yeah, that's that's only a little really thing that's been done on the moment. It. It's, it's only really just started to happen, but it's, it's happened to us a couple of times today. But yeah, last topic I'm going to talk about is the Premier League final day. Um, I'm not like favourites in any team, like in Manchester, like Manchester United, or like Manchester City. I actually support Charlton Athletic, um, which won like, League One now in the Championship. So I'm not a glory hunter at all. Um, yeah, so, but I really didn't want City to win the league. I just really don't feel that they deserved it. I think that United deserved it in a way. Although on paper, City beat United twice, um, and they beat some other important games. United obviously lost games, but so did City. But uh, I really dislike City because of. It's like Chelsea, like a couple of years back, when they went and tried to buy their way to success, and I really disliked Chelsea then. Now I actually, I don't, I like Chelsea because if they prove to themselves that they can actually stick within a team, they don't need to keep updating, getting like new players in. When City, are, obviously in the summer, they're gonna. There's already been talks about who they're bringing in. So they're, try, they're just trying to buy their way to success and I don't like it when teams actually try to buy their way to success. Got their flag. So I wanted to be like to win the league. Um, but at the start of the season I wanted like, to Tottenham to win the league. Someone like that because my mum actually supports Tottenham and my dad supports West Ham. But, um, but yeah, no, so that's kind of the view of that. Um, who got the Wolves, Wolves, Blackburn and Bolton. Yeah, they, they all deserve to go down. Um I would have all down from London, I would have liked QPR to go down. I don't like them because they're trying to trying to buy their way to success but obviously didn't work. They spent a lot of money in the summer and in January and obviously that didn't really work for them. Like, the enemy flag. Bottom. So they're just shit anyway, no matter what. Um, Tottenham and Arsenal got Champions League spots and Chelsea and Newcastle got European I believe um, Chelsea done shit in the league although on Saturday they're actually playing in the Champions League final um, against Bayern Munich so they're obviously doing something right I suppose but other than that then yeah next season I don't I don't know who it's gonna it's gonna be a Manchester team it's gonna be United or City that win the league Hopefully, it's the way that City um, celebrates it's a bit over the top, like. But yeah, but there's actually been speculation. That's what I'm going to say at the start when I start talking about football. There's been speculation about whether City's games are actually legit because it happened like four years ago when they the last one or whatever. And if it's QPR, the same shirt number. So whatever shirt number Aguero is, he's the, that same shirt number scored at the exact same time in this in the, at Man City ground against QPR something like that. So it's like kind of everything adds up the same as when they won it like 40 years ago, whatever it was. Which I don't I don't I don't believe I believe that he's lucky that Aguero scored that goal when he did 
There was nothing really sketchy about it. It couldn't really be fake. But, yeah, that's the kind of speculation about that. Um, I hope you like this country. It's a kind of bit off point, I suppose. Like, it's a bit different to what I've been doing. Yeah, I just thought I'd change it up a little bit. So, actually, I hope you enjoyed. Um, as you can tell already, my content um, uploads to be a bit more regular. So, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so kind of stay tuned. I will be doing We'll still be bringing a lot of uploads kind of daily to every two days so please subscribe and i'll speak to you guys later deuces